I'll tell you what, there's no end of drama at the Olympics. Joe will fill us in. No end, there's more coming. I'll tell you, Nick, the quarterfinals of the women's doubles badminton competition is due to get underway in the next few minutes. But as you've been hearing, the competition has been thrown into chaos after eight players were thrown out for match fixing. The four pairs lost their final group matches on purpose to get a better draw in the knockout stage. All four pairs have already qualified for the quarterfinals. The teams from South Korea, Indonesia and China, including the reigning world champions, were charged with misconduct for, quote, not using one's best effort to win a match. They were caught when the Chinese doubles champions and their South Korean opponents made simple errors. The longest rally in one game was only four shots. The crowd at Wembley Arena booed them, forcing the referee to warn the players. Well, Andy Good, who represented Great Britain in badminton at the 1992 Olympics, says that this wouldn't have happened under the previous all-knockout system, and he believes the order to throw the games would have come from the team manager. I feel a little bit sorry for the players, because this wasn't their decision. The decision's not made by the players of these countries, it's made by the team. And these players are obviously the best in the world, they train exceptionally hard. Um, the South Koreans and Chinese would normally play each other on a matchup. That was a final game. They'd be out there for at least two hours, and they'd be crawling off the court afterwards. Well, for more on this story, let's go to Rahul Pathak now, who's live for us at Olympic Park. And Rahul, those eight have been thrown out, but it's not over yet, is it? No, um, in the last uh, hour or so, there's been another twist to this uh, rapidly uh, developing... Korean pair here. They say that the Chinese started this. The Chinese say that there will be an investigation. Two pairs, of course, from China and uh, a pair from Indonesia. Let's get some response to this. Andy Good joining us now by Skype from uh, uh, south of London. He represented Team GB in the 1992 uh, Olympics and managed the team in 1996. Was this the right or wrong decision by the International Badminton Federation? Uh, it was a decision that he had to make, and they had to make it quick. Um, I've never seen any sporting event, major event, any event, where two players or two pairs are still on the court and haven't tried. Um, and that decision, decision was easy to make. And he must have seen tactical play before, surely. Because if the crime at the end of the day was letting the fans down because these were pathetic matches, that's one thing. But to suggest that you've, uh, or we've never seen tactical uh, play in, in in athletic sport before is, is a bit ridiculous, isn't it? It does go on. But especially um, the team ethic part of it means so much. These, these players, I feel for them a little bit because it wasn't their decision. Their team has told them to lose those games. And I mean, the pair who, the Chinese ladies, who are the best in the world, the world champions, they were going for gold. And this was just part of their journey to get to that goal. They, 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 they probably didn't see anything wrong with it. All they were thinking about is getting through to the next round to get to the right and the country to win as many men. They probably thought it was okay. Um, from the spectators' point of view, it's something I've never seen ever in any sport. Um, and How does this affect the world of badminton briefly? Well, hopefully, um, it, it won't be too bad. I mean, they've come clean, they've, they've disqualified them straight away, they've done the good thing, because sports like badminton rely upon being in the Olympic Games. And if for any reason badminton is tarnished and they're taken out of the Games, the European, the European um, badminton countries will suffer, because without the funding to get into the Olympics, there is, there is hardly a circuit to, to be able to... And it, we're going to leave it there. We thank you very much indeed for joining us, uh, Pedro. That's the story. Slightly complicated as far as explaining uh, what went on at uh, these matches, but ultimately that's the deal. You know, did they not 